everybody, welcome to My Creative Time with Emma and also welcome to our 8th day of our 12 days of Christmas. I can't believe we're already on day number 8 and there's only 4 days left, but all I have to say is that on the 12th day, I am so super excited because you're in for a surprise, so I cannot wait to share it with you. Lots going on that day, so definitely be sure um, to tune in, okay? Um, so anyways, what I want to show you what we are going to be making today, we are going to be making this adorable, see it says Merry Christmas Daddy, adorable little, um, it could have been an ornament, but I didn't have any good size ornaments, I only had some clear small ones, and I did have some those, I'm not sure, you've probably seen them on some blogs, they're like, they're the big circle, but they're flat ones. I used those last year. I didn't want to use them again this year, so I figured I'm going to try something different. So I had this cute little jar I had picked up from Hobby Lobby, um, and then this little Santa hat is actually a little for pets. How cool is that? I had the, the little sketch. I was actually going to bust out my sewing machine, and I was going to make one, but I, when I went to the store last night, um, and I saw this, I was like, oh, heck no, why should I make one? I could just get one made already. Isn't this beautiful? And I have my boys. This is going to be for my husband because he is um, going to be getting a new desk this week. And I figure he could put it on his little desk. Um, so when you get your packages in the mail, all of the awesome packaging, he's actually doing that now for me because it got a little overwhelming for my mother and I. So he stepped up to the plate, so I got him a nice little desk, so he's perfect. And this is going to sit right on his desk. So, um, as you can see, this is a little elasticy. You could take it off and just glue it on, but you know what? You can't even really see it. So I figure I'm just going to keep it on. If he wants to take the hat off, maybe we could find a different hat in the future and kind of just put it on different little hats for the seasons. I thought that would be a really cute idea, so I didn't want to put it on there permanently, okay? I'm going to quickly run um, through how we're going to make this. What you're going to need is a little super cute hat. You could feel free to make one if you want. You're going to need your pop dots. Um, your ink, um, a little silhouette, um, and the way I made this is I got it from my craft channel. Um, I won't be making any more of these <laughs> because it was really it was tricky for me. I'm pretty sure a lot of you could probably get it better than me, um, but I didn't save them. So I'm only making two, one for my dad and one for my husband. Um, and that's really the only people who really need it right now, but the, the two most, most important men in my life. So anyways, I'm not making any more of these because I didn't save the file and the, it was kind of, um, it was, I don't want to say it was hard to make it into a silhouette on the computer, but where I did see it is on my craft channel. Um, and I will have that link on my blog for all of you to follow the directions. So this was the best I can do. But what I did was I just put it on some clear acetate to help me maneuver it in my jar better. We are going to be using the Build-A-Banner kit. We're going to be using um, You're My Best Buddy because I wanted to use the word daddy from there. And we are going to be using Follow Your Dreams because I wanted to take the numbers off of this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and move everything, and we are going to get started. What I want to do first, let's go ahead and get this in here. Oh, and you're going to need a jar. This one I have a square jar, and basically it's just a regular jar you pick up at Hobby Lobby. It's nothing special. Like I said, I, I thought about going to pick up bigger clear ornaments, but you know what? The thing about ornaments, they're beautiful and all, but... Once Christmas is over, you store them away, and I don't want I don't want something so beautiful like this to be stored away for an entire year for the next season to take out. So I figured I'm going to try something different and put it in here. I remember talking to my DT member, Miss Katie. She's the one that said to try, you know, doing it in an ornament. But since I didn't have any, my ornaments were too tiny. I figured I'm going to try it this way. I think it'll be something different and something cute. So what I did with this one, I individually put my silhouettes in here. Um, because I printed them on a cardstock, okay? But being that 
these, this, I didn't print this one on cardstock. I print this on regular paper by accident. So I figured, you know, I don't want to waste it. So I glued it on some clear acetate. I actually didn't, didn't glue it. I put um, glossy accents on there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and put this in here. Um, let me get a couple of glue dots on here. And I'm just using some small glue dots. Um, let me grab my scissors here. Um, let's see. We're going to put one probably here. I was making these. Oh, let me tell you what else you're going to need, too. This is the packaging for it. I got this from Hobby Lobby. Make it Christmas. And this went actually on top of both of these packages. This is like little tiny foam balls. They're so cute. That and then this little stuff here. I don't know. It's like almost like it looks like a little snow. What I did was I, I put it in the mix. I mixed them both together just to have a little sparkly in there at the same time. So that's the other item you're going to need. Very inexpensive but personal, cute, beautiful project. Okay, let me. I'm going to put one right here in the center too. Why not? And um, I think that's it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm, if this gets, this part is a little tricky because this is a little bit bigger. It's not as wide as the circle one that I use, the rounded one. Since this is square, I'm going to have to kind of like maneuver it in here so it could work. Okay, so let me, let's see, let's go ahead and start putting it in here. You know what, let me grab, you could easily just do it like that, you know, kind of just have it floating in there. But I want it, I want it to be able to put our little, you know, the little snow at the bottom. Let me grab something to help me with this. Okay, I think I'm going to use this. This is my little letter opener. Um, let's see. Okay, so I think I got it the wear. Okay, now I could just kind of push it up against the glass here. Okay, see how I got the glue dots right at the end? So now I'm just pushing it up against the glass perfectly there. And it's okay if you can see the glue dot through the glass because you know what? All of that snow in there is going to kind of camouflage it. So let me just use this. Actually, you know what? let me use this instead. My little stylus here, better. Yeah, there we go. It's not so harsh on it. Just to kind of like, because it was scratching it a little. So kind of get it in there, just like so, okay? And then now what we're going to do is put the little snow in there, okay? So what I did was I got a little, I just kind of mixed it up in this little cup. You don't have to do it like this because I just had way too much in my other one. I just threw it in here because I had to take some out. Kind of OD'd on that. Look how pretty that looks already. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let me get another. Let me just put a little bit more of this stuff in here. Super duper quick project. The only thing that's a little time consuming is trying to get your picture perfect. And I'm such a perfectionist. That's why I had a hard time. I had a hard time with my pictures. I was going to make these for as gifts for everybody, but you know what? Sorry, not going to happen, my friends. <laughs> as long as I have it for my hubby and for my dad, they're perfect. Okay. Alrighty. So let me just kind of mix this up a bit. It's just super fun. I really, and this is you, I mean, Perfect gift. Like I said, don't put, I don't know, that's up to you if you want to put it in an ornament, but I chose not to because why not have it a year-round thing? Isn't that so cute? So let me get this little. Now you might get some like on them and all that stuff, but that's all right. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. Don't worry about it. Like I got a little glitter, little glitter on Anthony's head, but that's okay. And then just throw your little cover on and then throw this on. I mean, like I said, you could like um, permanently, you know, put this on to keep it on there forever. But you know what? Just, I think, just leave it where you can just take it off if you want because they don't necessarily have to keep the hat on, but I figure in the Christmas spirit, why not? I think it's a cute little touch. So now what we're going to do, we are going to go ahead and stamp 
on our, um, let me use this to stamp on for right now since this is in front of me. This is from my Build a Banner kit, this one right here. But I didn't put a background on my husband's. I think I'm going to put a background on this one here, okay? I have, with my Build a Banner kit, it comes with four little um, background stamps, which are my favorite backgrounds right now. The houndstooth, the little stripe, and this little, I'm not sure if this is linen, burlap, um, everybody calls it something different, so it could be whatever you want it to be. And then my favorite polka dots. So, let's see, since this is for my dad, let's go ahead and do, I think the little stripes will be cute, because it'll almost be like a little candy cane effect there. So, I'm just going to use this one right here, and I don't, it doesn't, it's okay if it's bigger, the stamp is bigger than my block, because all I'm really going to need is a little piece anyway, okay? So, what I'm going to do, let me grab a lighter ink for this. I'm just going to use this Tim Holtz one called Frayed Burlap. I think that's, that'll be light enough, because I definitely want to be able to stamp something else right on top of that. So let me ink this up. Okay, oops. And put it right here. As you can see, that little stuff inside was only $2.99, but I got it with, um, with the little discount. Okay, here it goes right here, the little stripies on here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my black ink, okay, and let me grab, hold on, let me see, where's those stamps at? Okay, I'm going to grab um, Grandpa from here, since that's what my kids call my dad, Grandpa. And this is from, again, the, um, the stamp set, what is it called? You're My Best Betty. Okay, so let's get that. And we are going to stamp, we're using our black ink, Merry Christmas first. Okay, and then we are going to stamp, oops, Grandpa. Perfecto. Isn't that super duper sweet? Oops, I'm not going to close that yet. What I'm going to do, I actually chose to use the numbers from this set. I like those little numbers. They're a little bit bigger than the other numbers I have from Follow Your Dreams. And I'm going to stamp, just so you know, we could be aware of what year this was given. Um, I'm going to stamp on the back 2011. This is such a perfect gift for anyone. Okay, super duper sentimental, I love it. How cool is that, okay? And then all you wanna do, since it's gonna be hard to put like, um, I mean, you don't have to do it this way, but I have these cute little push pins here that I'm going to just go ahead, let me move this all out of the way here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, all I'm going to do is just basically make a hole here. I'm just going to do it with, I don't need to like bust out my punches or anything. Okay. And then just put it in here. But you know what, before I do that, I'm sorry. Um, let me go ahead and ink up my little edges here. Let me grab my, I have to do that. I feel like it's missing something if I don't. And then I'm just going to just go ahead and just ink these up. So give it a little something extra there. Okay, there we go. Now I feel better. Now I feel complete. Okay, so now that we've got that done, I'm just going to go ahead and continue making my hole. And then just, just stick it right there. You know what I'm saying? Because they're just going to display it. And how cute is that Merry Christmas, Grandpa? Isn't that beautiful? Super duper cute, easy. This is the only part that you might, I'm sure, I'm not very computer savvy, but I'm sure a lot of you who are the professionals will do a way, will have a way less um, 
hard time than I it wasn't hard I'm just it was just a little tricky to try to get them as silhouettes but I will have the link to my blog on my blog I'm should I should say to the website it's called my craft channel and I think it's called I heart camera I could be making that up so I'm not gonna say the the title of it I'll have it on my blog everybody so anyways these are my projects for today I hope you enjoyed them as much as I did and our giveaway today is going to be alrighty this is going to be our giveaway for today I'm going to be giving one lucky person my build a banner kit another one of my super favorite favorite dies um, because it's just so super duper cute, especially with my little background included in there. As well as this awesome cranberry ink from Close to My Heart, which was donated by the lovely Miss uh, Melanie Brown. And she is my Close to My Heart consultant because she's close to my heart. <laughs> I was dying to say that. So anyways, and then this paper she also donated. This, donated. this is that stack of paper that I used on day five for um for the blog hop it was on yeah it was the day five where i used my little classy girl same um paper stack it's awesome so one lucky winner will get all three of these items all you have to do like i said before comment on all the blogs um because each one of my designers is going to be picking one winner from their blogs um, and then I'm going to be picking mine. So out of all of the winners, I'm going to use random.org to pick, um, to pick, you know, the winners from there. So good luck everybody. And I cannot wait for tomorrow because it's actually my mother, it's my mother's turn. Too bad she's, she won't do, a, she probably won't do a video, but I, I will go ahead and present everything she made for you tomorrow. She made two super duper cute um, projects for you. Okay, everybody, so have a fabulous, fabulous day, and I will see you back here tomorrow, same time, same place. Bye-bye.